Hello everyone, I am Ankur Gupta and I work with Mindfire Solutions as a Java developer. This is my sixth video on Jasper reports. In this video, I will be talking about how to manipulate SQL query conditionally uh, with any condition applied. The condition could be based on parameters or user inputs or some constant values which toggle between two three portions of query so in this i will demonstrate a methodology in which i will give an outline how to manipulate or change the base query of the report using the conditional statements and this uh, in this uh, tutorial i have used a sample database so there is no need of using any if you don't have the JDBC backend or any uh, if no data source then need not worry just use this sample data source I have also shown the method how to run this uh, else you could go back to my other videos and then I have given description of the how to start the sample database so to start with in I reports and the net page. Okay. This is an I report. So in this, I have already created a sample report. So let me just show you what to do in the beginning. You just need to go to help up in the toolbar and go to sample and run the sample database. Then afterwards, select this sample database HSQL DB test, which will initiate your SQL DB test. In this, if you could see, I have created, I have one, two, three, four, four uh, columns. I have dragged them from the the same query. I will just show you. In this, I have a controller, which which uh, varies between the which varies between the choices of my query, and this is. Uh, one of the query conditional query like I'm ordering the query with ship name in the next one I'm ordering it by ship city in the next one I do it by ship postal code in the next one I do it by ship country this dynamic query user input is the input in integer which has having a default expression I will come that to later so for the description I've added is enter 1 for the ship name, 2 for the ship city, 3 for the ship postal code, 4 for the ship country. So if user enters 1, he will be ordering it by ship name, 2 for the ship, ship city, 3 for the ship postal code and 4 for the ship country. This controller again varies here. So if the input is 1, then again the ship name, 2 then ship city, 3 then postal code, 4 then ship country and if nothing is coming, that means x value other than 1, 2, 3, 4 or 0 or anything, it will trigger a simple query which says select top 10 from the orders, order is the table sample database contains from which I am pulling out the data one thing more if you want to like put all these if you let me just show you the panel this is the report query i have just dragged in here dynamic query controller and put an exclamation mark if you see here it's an exclamation mark this tells i report that this contains an sql and it needs to be gone through so when you read the fields yes it's ready so you could see all the columns selected so other thing is that if you want to avoid any errors or something then your query should be perfectly correct in all the all the conditional queries it, it should be perfectly correct like in postal code it should be perfectly correct <coughs> so let me just run it once and show you what happens uh, see this is 
asking you can provide in value for the parameter dynamic user input same thing one for ordering ship name two for ship city i will enter just four for the ship country so see it's orders by argentina argentina it is all over and i have just shown how like which query is running just for the information say see the query run is select top 10 from orders order by ship country so this prove my purpose that ship country is being ordered again i should run it again just show you <coughs> let me order it by postal code that is three see all the poster codes are ordered 01012 and so on and again i have just checked for not null i have few values were null so this is the query executed and suppose i entered we were like any suppose 45 so it will execute a normal query that was a default one if user enters a wrong or not in the choice so select top 10 from the orders so see no ordering is there just all top 10 are seen over here so the points to be remembered here is that all the queries in the conditional stuff should be perfectly correct next is your dynamic controller should be having a, a valid conditional conditions your all the queries and the controller query should be there's the use as prompt should be unchecked in order that that they should not take values from the user as they are taken by the user and your you and your controller should always come after the user input as if dynamic query is put above then it won't know what value is the dynamic query used by user input is containing so it will throw an error pointer exception so these are the things you should take care of so that's it for the demonstration hope you liked it if you like my video then you could uh, you follow me on twitter my twitter handle is ankur underscore aug or you could follow me on Facebook or on LinkedIn. I have the same username as Ankur Gupta. And my blog spot is www.ankurthetechie.blogspot.in or you could G plus me. Thank you for watching my video. You could also visit the official website of Mindfair Solutions on www.mindfairsolutions.com and even post views and comments on my video. And if you have some queries or questions you can also put them in comments i will love to answer them thank you